Welcome to another video lesson. In this video lesson, you will learn how to create a custom tile block like the one you see here. All right, so we're going to start from the home screen in Autodesk Inventor. So make sure you have that open and ready to go. Um, so right here, I have my custom drawing template, and that's what you will be making. I'm going to show you how to make these blocks and actually insert an image. So starting from my home, click on this down arrow where you create new uh, parts, and we're going to create a drawing. So click on that. In our browser window, we're going to edit a few things. Uh, so first, let's right click on sheet one, edit sheet. Change the size to size A and click OK. Next thing I'm going to do is right click on this ANSI large and delete it. Then you'll click on the plus for drawing resources. Click the plus for title blocks. And we're going to right click on title blocks and we're going to define a new title block. Now this may look a little different on your end. My screen for some reason has all of these grids. Only do this step if you are annoyed by the grids like me. I'm going to go to Tools, Document Settings, Sketch, and uh, this grid display and major every. I'm just going to increase that to like 20 for both of them and then apply and close and it'll just make it a little easier to look at so you only do that if yours had that on there uh, let's go back to the sketch tab all right so we're gonna click on rectangle and we're gonna draw a rectangle from this corner up to here and let's dimension that so click on Dimension Tool, click on your left side, and we're going to make this, uh, actually I'm going to make it 0.6 tall, tapping Escape, I'm going to click on Dimension, click on this, and make it 10 inches long, tapping Escape. Okay, now we can should be able to move this around. Yep. So it's not center. Okay, just like that. It should be in the center. It can also be butted up in a corner. So let me try and do that. Right there. Alright, and that'll just stay at the end, you'll see. Alright. So just like our drawing template shows here. We're going to write designer, title, date, and draw these lines and dimension them. So click on the line tool, draw a line in between your two um, up and down lines, like so. Double tapping escape to get out of the tool. Click on dimension. You're going to dimension between that line and this line. Oops. Here we go. That's going to be four inches. And then between this line and this line, we're dimensioning it four inches. And then we're going to have another line here. Make sure everything's parallel and, and perpendicular. And that's dimensioned one inch. Okay, so now let's click on our text tool and in the top left of this box we'll click and drag a short box. We're going to change the font to Technic. We're going to leave this 0.12 inches. Tapping my caps lock and leave that on and typing the word designer clicking OK. Moving over to the next one, 
click and drag a box, change the font, and type title. So the font is Technic, 0.12 is the size. Click OK. Move over. And let's uh, do the same thing. And this time we're going to type date. So Technic, I'm going to center this one. So I'm clicking on that center and typing date with a colon. OK. And next we're going to set up some automatic features. So what we'll do is again we'll click on text and this time you're going to click drag across the whole thing like this. Okay. Again we're going to change it to Technic. This time we're going to make the font size 0.2 inches and then you're going to have this menu here and we're going to select properties drawing and we're going to select author okay. and then you're going to click this button right here which will add that text perimeter and then center and click OK Okay, and now we'll do the same thing with the title so we'll click on our text tool click and drag across so that whatever we make we centered Technic is the font you can center it now. Our font size is 0.2. Click in this menu, properties drawing, and this is going to be title. Click on add the parameter and click OK. Date. Click on text. Click and drag across the box. Technic, leave this one small, 0.12. Properties drawing and creation date is the one that we'll select. Click on that and center it and click OK. All right, so those are three automatic things that will be added um, when you update a drawing eye properties. And I'll show you that um, later on in this video. Next, we're going to add a photo here. So we're going to customize this. Okay, so click on the image button right here. And then you're going to click and drag as close to a square as possible. And it's going to open up a window for you to go to your desktop. So go ahead and save an image to the desktop. Um, I happen to have images all over the place on my computer. So I'm just going to go to my pictures and I'm just going to select something very quickly. I don't, you know, I don't expect you to have the same image, but something that you like um, that is square shaped. Click open. If you get this message, just click OK and your custom image will be saved uh, there. So click finish sketch and then it's going to ask us to name our blocks. We're going to name it custom title block and then click save. Okay, and now we're going to go over to the browser, right click and insert our custom title block. There it is. And in order to actually use this custom title block, it's not going to automatically um, be here every single time. What we have to do is save this whole drawing sheet so that it's a um, you know it's just a blank um, template down here uh, within your recent documents that you can just click and open and add stuff to later on so what you'll do is you'll go to iPro here and save as and save it as you know my custom drawing sheet okay and then click save so then you know, every single time that you are going to make a technical drawing, you go to your recent documents, you open up your custom drawing sheet, and then you immediately go to file or the iPro save as, and whatever, whatever part you're making a technical drawing is, you name it the part name, your, your name, and then save. Okay. And then it'll, it'll, 
be your drawing sheet for you to use. So make sure that you um, then, once you have a part placed here and you're ready to add the dimensions in the eye properties of the sheet, so you right click eye properties summary, you add the title here, you can um, update the author, make sure it's always in caps. I like this writing crews. Uh, name of so the title would be the name of the part or project and you click apply and close it and it'll automatically update on the sheet okay so um, once you have your, your custom sheet like this you're gonna always use your custom drawing sheet for all of the parts that you create